Welcome to my video on how to add categories to your products using the autocomplete feature in the new version of OpenCart. And I'm going to also include a couple of other bonus tips while I'm here because several uh, features work this exact way. So the problem you're having is you have a product and you want to associate it with a category and you can't figure out how. So uh, here I've gone into the Apple Cinema uh, product. So I'm going to go to the links tab. I'm going to remove everything uh, so that you can follow along with me to find out how this is done. You see here how it says autocomplete. Now watch if I just put the letter A and wait. It's a dynamic menu that pops up and shows me all the available options. You might think it's uh, annoying that there's no checkbox instead and uh, you have to do it this way. Now watch, I will take letter B and you see all the manufacturers with B come up. But let me tell you why it's done this way. It's loaded dynamically, which means um, every time you load this list, it goes to the database, finds the information, and displays it for you. So it makes your cart quicker because it doesn't have to display the list every single time you load this page. It only displays the list when you need it. Uh, okay, so we know for sure this is an Apple product. So I'm going to pick Apple. Now, this video's topic is for categories, so the same thing happens. So if I just type the letter A and wait, nothing happens. Type the letter B, C, and there we go, and D, and E. That's a trick that I've learned. I just go through because I don't know my categories by heart. Maybe you do. Maybe you know what they start with. Hopefully, uh, to save yourself some time, you will know. Uh, as you can tell, I'm struggling to find a category. Here we go. Uh, there was not a laptop. It was a monitor, I believe. Let's go to M. Here we go. It was a monitor. And let's go to N and O. And it wasn't a printer. And I'm T. Here we go. It was a monitor. So we'll go with components, monitors, test one. So you can see the main category is components. The subcategory is monitors. And the product, uh, or sorry, the, the, th the third subcategory is test one. So I'm going to choose that one. So now you can see that I've chosen two categories. Now, over here, related products, you know, a lot of people forget about this, but when you go to the product page, there's a tab called related products, and you can pick what products come up for each other product. So same thing applies. A Now, I've already got the Apple Cinema, so I'm not going to make it a related product. It's the same product. So here we go. We'll go see... Uh, this is the default uh, open cart site uh, so once you install yours you can follow this exactly as is because like I say this is uh, the exact products that are installed when you if I go H again watch what happens I'll get rid of it I'll type it and then the list will come back so I can add that so I only use four related products because it seems to work best so We've picked our manufacturer using the autocomplete, using the letter A, and you can see here, it doesn't matter if I leave the letter T. What matters is what's in this list here that I've picked and, um, you know, related products here. So if I save it, and now I'm going to go to my storefront. Here we go. We put it under monitors. Okay, so there it is under monitors, and we also put it under test one. So here it is under test one. And manufacturer offer, there it is, there's brands. So if I go brands and I go Apple, there is my Apple Cinema. And the last thing I want to show you is, remember we talked about related products. And there you go, there are four related products that I added in. Hopefully that works for you. Thanks for watching.